Hi and welcome back to freesciencelessons.co.uk. By the end of this video you should be able to calculate the total energy transferred by components. Now this is a relatively straightforward topic. In the last video we saw how to calculate the total charge flowing in a circuit such as this one. This circuit has a current of 0.3 amperes and we're asked to calculate the total charge flowing in 10 seconds. Now to do that we use this equation. The charge in coulombs equals the current in amperes multiplied by the time in seconds. So we've got a current of 0.3 amperes and a time of 10 seconds. Multiplying 0.3 by 10 gives a total charge of 3 coulombs. Now, whenever charge flows in a circuit, work is done. In other words, energy is transferred. We can calculate the energy transferred using this equation. The energy transferred in joules equals the charge flow in coulombs multiplied by the potential difference in volts. And here's a triangle if you prefer to use this. Now you're not given this equation in the exam, so you do need to learn it. So here's a question for you to try. Four coulombs of charge flows in the circuit. Calculate the total energy transferred. Pause the video now and try this yourself. Okay, so to calculate the energy transferred, we multiply the charge flow by the potential difference. The charge flow is 4 coulombs and the potential difference is 15 volts. Putting these numbers into the equation gives us an energy transfer of 60 joules and that's our final answer. Here's another question for you. 3 coulombs of charge flows in the circuit. Calculate the energy transferred in resistor A. Now to answer this question, first you're going to have to work out the potential difference across resistor A. So pause the video now and try this yourself. Okay, we've got a cell with a potential difference of 30 volts and we've got two resistors in series. Remember that potential difference is shared across components in series. Resistor B has a potential difference of 25 volts. So resistor A must have a potential difference of 5 volts. We know that 3 coulombs of charge flows through the circuit. To calculate the energy transferred by resistor A, we need to multiply the charge flow by the potential difference. 3 multiplied by 5 gives us an energy transfer of 15 joules, and that's our final answer. Remember, you'll find plenty more questions on calculating energy transferred by components in my vision workbook, and you can get that by clicking on the link above. Okay, so hopefully now you should be able to calculate the total energy transferred by components.